What's up guys, welcome to another episode. This one's a solo lipstick session to Point Plumber. Now, if you recall a few episodes ago, myself and the butler were here where we were doing our new mods episode on the Prado and we were a little bit disillusioned by the place. So there's one reason why I'm now back in Point Plumber and that's to answer this question. Has Point Plumber lost its magic? Let's find out. But before we do that, let's roll these clips when Point Plumber certainly had the magic. So we're going to spend a few days here, see if we can answer that question and rekindle some of that magic. Well miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. Come on. So I just lost my popper. I did get something quite big, I could see it, and then the line broke. There was low heaps of fish chasing after it as well. So we might be in for some luck, but the problem is I've only got one popper left.
decent brim. Yeah! Gotcha! Gotcha! Decent! Yeah! Finally got a decent brim. Sorry, my man. That is not a bad size brim. That's more than enough for me, so I'm not gonna overfish. I don't need any more than this. That will be plenty of food for me tonight, so that is perfect. So my fishing is done, success. It's a bit of an update. I was planning to cook the brim tonight, but we've had a bit of a drama and we've lost the drone. It lost control out there in the bush. I spent the last two hours looking for it. So I've already had two leeches on me, probably covered in ticks. So we're gonna have to resume the search tomorrow because it's too dark at the moment. So, and then we'll have the brim sometime tomorrow. So I always like to cook fish as soon as I get it, but oh well, things change. We'll see you in the morning. Now, as they say in rescue operations, we're going to resume at first light. This time, what we are going to do is aero guard ourselves up because I got off yesterday two ticks and two leeches. So I'm not going to muck around. I'm also, you'll see, I'm tucked in. I've got the tucked in steez going as well. <clears throat> and also, because my hands got cut to ribbons yesterday, we're going to be putting on the dog tanning gloves as well. Let's go. Because I came here through here so many times yesterday, I have managed to create a bit of a pathway through the thick spiky bush that this is. Now, it didn't go far, so I know from the Find Me drone app, it's around here somewhere. And then it ran out of battery, so we're gonna resume the search just here. I know it's definitely around here somewhere. Lots of ticks and leeches, there's probably snakes, spiders, all the good things. It's so thick that even if it's on the ground, it's so hard to see. So much vegetation. I hate to admit defeat. But I don't like it in there. I don't think I'm gonna find it, it's too thick. It's too thick bush. I've just seen it. I've just seen it. Now where was it? There. I don't know whether you can see, you probably can't see it through the back there. I can see it. Yeah. Right, let's go get him before we get bitten to death. Let's get out of this joint before it gets too hot. I'm deliberately up early because it gets too snaky in it.
That's what I'm talking about. Looks in pretty good nick. Right, I'm gonna get out of here before I get bitten to death by ticks and leeches and all the other nasties. That was a successful mission in the end. So the search resumed at first light and we were successful. So anyway, what ended pretty badly ended up okay. Let's get out of this joint, go and have a swim. Back at camp, so it didn't go very far, as you can see. Which is good, because if it went any further, there'd be absolutely no chance of getting it back. The only reason I had any half a chance was because I knew exactly where it was. Because of the fine we drone up. But then it ran out of battery. Anyway, we're good. Right, so next job is to tick tick for things for ticks I look pretty good I'm gonna go take a swim there's our brim and there is our ingredient so we're gonna have a side salad we've got the lime we've got some mixed spice we've got some chili and we've got some mango. So let's see what we can do with all of those guys. And of course a coffee. Don't have a lot of ingredients, so this is gonna be a bit of an experimental breakfast. Right, so let's get the salad is the easiest bit, so we may as well do that first. see if she's cooked. Oh, perfect. Oh. Mango is amazing. Some more salad. This is really good. I reckon with some garlic this would have been absolutely champion. a lot of meat on this fish. Get some of the meat and the and the mango. Yeah, that's brilliant. last night at Point Plummer and I suppose we need to answer this question has Point Plummer lost its magic? It's actually not a very straightforward question to answer. My trip has been magic there's no doubt about that. The surf's been really good I've had lots of surf it's been small but it's been really really good. The fishing has been insane I know I only caught the one grip but I actually lost like five fish before that and it was it was my the fishing line that I had kept breaking and I didn't realise that until fish number five that I lost. I changed the line over and then I caught the brim. So the fishing has been insane. I lost I lost all my hard uh, lures, which I've never even had a, had a sniff of action on a hard lure before. 
uh, on the first one it was a third cast out and I'd got a fish and I lost it so the fishing's been epic the surf's been really good apart from it's been quite small the wildlife's been there I've seen there's been lots of goannas around which is quite usual for here I haven't seen any dingoes um, but campground is heaving it's heaving it's packed it's full so it's, it's, it's actually a difficult question to answer my trip has definitely been magic but has Point Plumber lost its magic it has I hate to say it it, it has it's just too busy it's just too busy the only reason that my trip was a magical trip was because I had the one spot on my own where Whilst I was camping around the tent, I felt like I was on my own, but crikey, if I'd have been in any other spot, I would not have been on my own. So for that reason, Point Plumber has lost its magic. I hate to say it, I've had a great trip, but it has, it's lost its magic. You know, everyone has the right to come here like I do. I think I just remember it in the days where there was very few people here, and now it's really, really busy. It's still an amazing spot. It's, a, it's an awesome spot, but for me, it's lost its magic. Oh well.